Good morning, YouTube mind lovers. Tom and Julie here. Morning. She's there. We're out driving up a uh, road, up a canyon, adjacent to a wash. Beautiful day here. It's 65 degrees, 9 o'clock in the morning. Well, it's spring here in the desert, and a lot of the wildflowers are coming out. There have been a lot of Indian paintbrush and several other kinds that we've seen in the last few days. There's a different purple flower. It's so pretty. We're still heading up the wash. It's an easy hike so far. Well, here are some of the Indian paintbrush flowers I was mentioning earlier. Wow, beautiful, huh? I don't know what the technical name for them is, but that's what they're commonly referred to. Pretty. Whole bunch of them on this hillside. Yeah, they're all along here. They're pretty happy right there. Oh, I see a waste truck pile up there. We're just about there. It looks like a fuel tank here by Julie. Riveted. So the mine's just up ahead of us here. There's a cabin here also. And we're at the end of the waste pile and it probably a lot of it is washed away also the way it looks. And then there's a shaft on the left over here. A big portion of this waste truck pile is definitely washed away as you can see the cliffy nature of it right here. Okay, we're here at a building. Used to have a window in it. That's plastic. Not much inside there from here. There's a door. Well, apparently the snakes are coming out, Julie. Yeah. It's been pretty cool at night, and we're actually kind of high up. So. Yeah. There's a shelf. Bed spring, of course. This looks like it was a folding shelf. Yeah, it does. Hmm, some more shelving over here. There's another cabin over here. I think that was more of an equipment cabin, wasn't it? It's been a couple years since we've been here, I think. So here are the shelves in here. There's some more shelves over here. Can you shine your light over here? Sand sample bags. Huh. Nothing on the shelf. Some people have signed into this thing over here. Here's some more shelves. Oh. Wow. Look at that. Look how long it is. I know, you think somebody... Is that a... Is that a um, homemade handle? It's got to be, huh? Oh, yeah. Wow. That is so weird. Somebody sat and wrapped that thing with wire. Huh. With a big hand. That's Eating probably that. eating a few beans, huh? <laughs> That's pretty cool. There's a beer can. Opened with a church key. Okay, let's go and look at the other building here. This might be more of an equipment building. Well, I noticed this barrel over here. 
appears to have been turned into a skip bucket or a shaft bucket oh yeah heads up it's got a few bottles in there so it's got some heavy duty welded uh, eyes on here and a cable and the pins for for catching it to dump it so that's kind of neat and another heavy duty barrel here I'm going to tip this back over so it doesn't fill up water that's a uh, that's a wood burner it looks like look at the riveted barrel there. wow is that cool mm -hmm. wow That is a heavy barrel. I love that riveting on there. All the way around. This is looking down the waste pile. Like I said, a lot of it's washed away. Let's look in this building. Hello. Is that an animal scratching to get out of here or just wind? Something scratching on a roofing. Uh, it's just wind, that one's kicking around a little. So, there's a bed it looks like. This has got a little more modern roofing on it too, it looks like aluminum. This is an interesting old box, it had the cutouts for the uh, finger holds. And here are some water pipe parts, a union, and some more unions. This is all this is, huh? No. It looks like there might have been something mounted there. Oh, maybe like a compressor or a generator. Or a water pump, because here's a water pipe coming here. Probably had a big pump there. All right, let's go look at the mine and get this explorer underway. I think we just saw one yeah, we saw one of those somewhere else, way down in the wash. This is like a leg for a bed. Let's go into mine. See what we have here. Heavy duty door. Oh, this must have been their explosives bunker. Yeah, I'm thinking so. There's another big riveted barrel. Boy, that's a heavy-duty one. Yeah, that's not cool. Yeah. They make these big ribs like this so you can roll it easier and so you can turn it easy if you're rolling it on the ground. Or maybe fuel, I don't know. Ooh, it's cool in here. Oh, look at the natural timber, timbering up here. Unmilled. Way back in here, too. Yep. Well, oh, there's a little chute coming down from up top there. Made out of corrugated steel. Oh, boy. Mm, stuff going on already here. Yeah. Like we had a breach. <laughs> oh yeah. Something fell down, didn't it? All this fell down. Little pocket to the right that they've taken. Oh, it's cold in here. Never know what you're gonna get in mind, do you? Oh boy. Yeah, look at the natural timbers. Looks like we have a shaft here. Oh, Here's a hoist room. It's been burned. Yeah, 
Is that supposed to be Marilyn Monroe? The guys are pretty good with their carbides, aren't they? Their lamps. Let's see if I can get in here without hurting somebody. Okay. So this would have been a hoist room. It has been burned, obviously. Um, who knows if it was intentional or, you know, this is where the fires would start with all the fuel and if it was electric and who knows what all you have in here. So here's their workshop table. This looks like they're mixing some kind of mortar. Here's a box, buck, hecked, here's an old wire brush, well used, here's the carton off of a, uh, this is like off the spool of, of, um, fuse or something, here's a pipe, oh look at this thing, a little teeny pick that's been handmade, huh. Some nipples, glove, some other stuff. This is pretty cool though. I like that thing. I wonder what they would have used the pick for. It's got one sharp end. This end looks like it's broken. All right, let's uh. Let's get out of here and either go look at the mine or go down the shaft, one or the other. We haven't even looked down the shaft yet. It looks like a cable could have run up through here somehow. I can see the see the notch in the main beam there. So here's this woman made out of carbide soot. And then uh, what's interesting is look at all this this natural lagging. And it goes way up. And this timber right here it's got to be at least 12 by 12, maybe more. You know, there's my foot. Yeah, look at that. And it's, yeah, it's 12 by 14. Huge. Look at the size of that thing. And then the, uh, the natural split lagging. The lagging is split boards. And look at the, look at the natural one up there. And it's been flattened on one side, but it's a natural piece of wood. Really unbelievable. And another huge timber on this one, another 12 by 14. Just unbelievable. Look way up there. And this natural lagging here, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, I can see daylight through there. Okay, well, let's look behind me on the shaft here for a second and then decide what to do. I don't see much that way. Oh, that's a nice little uh, shaft there. It's got a nice slope to it, not too steep. A little short, but I think we can do it. Look at how the cable is cut through the rock right here. They needed a roller there. So the main pulley or the sheep wheel would have been right up here between these two. And then it looks like there were some anchors into the rock right there. Maybe for other cable guides or something. Who knows? And here's more of this natural timber. It's absolutely amazing. All right, let's take a walk down the uh, drift here, Julie. Okay. Here's a chute. A little more modern. Oh, I see it burned. Yeah. yeah, the fire went up that way. I see the painters have been in here. That looks like it goes away over here. There's a little backfill and some gob there. 
stope up this way, more natural timbers. This was a silver mine, or is a silver mine. Doesn't appear to be active at this point. This is where that one that's blocked off went probably. Yeah, this went back to the... Yeah, this goes back. We just saw the entrance to this a little while ago. Okay, we're back to the main drift that we started in. I feel air in here moving through. Something came down here. More burnt stuff. Well, that's a cool old stall there. I know, isn't it? Yeah. Gnarly. Yeah. There's a ladder going up. Shoots coming down, so I don't know what they're doing up there. Unless it was an emergency escape or something. Moving on. A lot of mines have alternative entrances and exits for emergencies. If there were to be a fire, like there has been in here. Oh, look at this rope. <laughs> yeah, that's a heavy rope, isn't oh. it? There. Where's it going? I don't know. There's some very low stopes down there. You'd have to call on your belly to get there. Yeah, this rope is pretty neat. The big hemp rope. But where is it going? Over here somewhere. Let's go. Oh boy, there's a ladder for you. Yeah. Kind of a wild mine, isn't it? So this rope is going down another shaft, it looks like. Or ladder or something. Oh, boy. oh, there's air coming out of there. Wow. Ladders are rungs are missing. For yeah, because people throw stuff down there. They want to hear it crash down the ladders, and then they, then the ladders are unusable. Otherwise, they'd be perfect. Hmm. Well, maybe this will come into the other, um, the other shaft that has good ladders. Wow. This is a pretty big stoked room. Straight up about 20 feet. Here's a little pocket on the right here. Nice gobbing and it's back filled. Appears to be. Pretty big mine, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there was a big waste pile outside. So. Okay. Oh. I went the hard way. 
Yeah, I just noticed there's a ladder right there. Yeah, the ladder's <laughs> over there. That's okay. All right, I'm going to go. Do you want me to wait for you? No, go ahead for a while. This feather's pretty good. Okay. Second ladder is pretty good. Here's the pull for the bell. Oh, neat. Missing a rung on the third ladder. Okay. Are you coming down? Yep, I'll catch up with you now. Well, I'm partway down this shaft. This is looking down. I think Julie's just starting to make her way down here. That's looking back up. Look at all the cool natural timbers. That is so neat. Here she comes. Okay, I'm going to take my light out of her eyes. Okay, here comes Julie. This is a silver mine, but it looks like it's got some copper minerals in it. And a big chunk of that's come down right there. It looks like a level here. Uh, there's a chute, a tin chute. That's what tipped me off, kind of. Uh, there's... Some track stored in there, and the tracks go around the corner a little bit. There's an RPM, special motor oil, and uh, some kind of a bottle. Blue stuff on the side of that timber is interesting. So the tracks are taking a bit of a right. All kinds of extra track laying here. Sulfury. Well, look at Yeah. There's a sulfur smell source. I think there are five levels to this mine. We haven't been down here before. We've been in the upper part a little bit. Blocked off, but not very securely looking. Well, interesting back up in here, isn't it? Yeah. Well, now it changes into. Is that all calcite stuff? It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. That's a pretty big level. A lot of sulfur. At least it smells like sulfur. What do you see up there? Looks like it ends in the well. She said it looks like it ends. There you go, one level done. Okay, I've come down a little further from that first level. There's Julie up there. There's a neat old roller right here. It's wood with metal um, bands around the ends of it. And then over here, there's a really cool wall made out of natural lagging 
small tree branches for la lagging small trees. And then below me, oh wow, I didn't see that. Wow, you're right. Okay, right. And then below me, looks like a level. And then it goes into a hole and keeps going down further it looks like, but let's get down to this level and we'll check that one out. There's some bell wire. A half pound of it, number 18 it looks like. So I'm at a level here. It looks like it goes that way at least a little ways. It also goes down steeply. I see a carbide can down there. Uh, I'm not sure if the ladders are actually continuing or not, but we'll find out. At least on her way down, she's up here. The ladders are kind of haphazardly spaced, the rungs I should say. Okay, I'm going to take my light out of her eyes because it makes it hard for her to see. So there's a drip coffee shilling. Two pounds. A, a jar. You don't see too many coffee jars, do you? No. With the cap. Yeah. That's kind of neat. Yeah, it is. And then an RPM oil. What's the... Uh, motor oil. Motor oil. Yeah, you see those once in a while. Here's one that you don't see very often. These five-gallon cans of, of oil are always... The labels are always gone. And this is a pearl... Pearl oil. Oh, this is kerosene. For oil heaters, I think it says. Yeah, I saw that calumet. That? That's baking powder. Double acting baking powder. Yeah. I wonder why they would have that down there. I don't know. Um, there's a bunch of dynamite pot, box parts here. Hercules. I'll just take a quick look over here. Oh, this goes somewhere. You want to go this way since we're here? Kind of rugged. There's some graffiti on the wall. <laughs> Gold that way. I think they're kidding because it says BS. It says 150 foot something there. A big mine in the yeah. there's a carbide can part of that one nothing no no date newspaper but no date Well, this must be a parallel drift to the one that came right left off the uh, ladders there. Maybe it hooks up to it here. Can you go left? Yeah. Yeah, I bet this is... Ah, oh, you gotta go look in the can. That's gonna loop back to where the ladder is. Nothing. Here's some more newspaper though. All right, well here's an American Weekly paper. Does it say where it's out of? Over San Francisco. No, I don't know. There's several, several cities. No date though. Nope. All right, let's move on. I, I believe this is gonna just loop back to the, the shaft. It's a loop. Drift. Oh yeah, cool. 
I like this. Some natural timber sets. Yeah, very. I love these old timbers. It's already been a success. Not too much trash in this one. Some mines, everybody brings a water bottle or a can of pop or whatever and they leave the can or the bottle. It gets to be a mess after a while. Here we've got a little timber failure. Here's a tin box it looks like. The way they've rolled the edges so you can carry it. Yeah. yeah. That wood? There's wood in there. Oh no, maybe it's... There's just mud. Okay. There's nothing in there. That's neat though. Mm -hmm. We should be just about back to the shaft if my theory is correct. This head strip reel in here. Are we at the shaft yet? No. Oh, maybe my theory is not correct. Hmm. What have we here? No broom. Oh Here's to be a little less stable over here. And other parts of the mine. Oh, here's some. Here's some goofy miners graffiti. Yeah, see, we were just on the other side of that when we looped around. Hard rock. Soft something. Oh, that's a an it's an animal, isn't it? Yeah, I couldn't see it at first. Is it a cat? Looks Okay, Julie's coming down. It's pretty steep right here. Like vertical. Watch, watch it, there's your last step now. Just around this, just hang on to this next ladder. There's no reason to get on it really. And now it flattens out a little bit. This is looking down the ladders. Let's go down to another level. Longer. 
they're a little spaced apart. Okay. This must have been put in after the uh, rail was used or not? Can it go over this? Maybe it's got to be after. It's because it's on top of it, kind of. Maybe the wheels can turn it to. Oh, yeah, it's maybe. missing a run there. Good. But you can use the round. Then you got some that the backs uh, behind the ladder is filled up. Yeah. You got her. This is level number three, I think, if I'm not lost my count yet. Okay, come over, come over there. Come right over here. Yep. Here's some DuPont motor weld repairs. repairs. Good. Cracked blocks, water jackets, and valve ports. Huh. Oh. Never heard of it. Here's a piece of dynamite box here if you want to pick that up. See if you can see what brand it is anyway. High explosives. Oh, that's Dangerous. All. Dangerous. All right, let's see what we have on this one. Tracks are still here. I see some shoots coming up. Here's some dynamite paper. They always wrap the dynamite in the wood boxes, but they wrap it in paper also. be coming from different spots. Here's your load counter. Fourteen. Oh yeah, that's a... Wow, that comes from a long ways up there. I know, isn't it? Yeah. There's another shoe. A Mackie. Or H, yeah, A. A Mackie. Whatever that was. Nice smooth wall over here. And some cans. There's a gobbling wall, that's pretty nice. Yeah. Can yeah. have Olympia. 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 That's a modern can. I'm not even going to show it. So here's another chute. Some natural timbers wedged up in there. I don't know what's going on here. Just a little spot below us that they've mm -hmm. taken. Is that it? Yep. Can I see the end? And this is the end of it. Yeah. Not much down there. The Wonder Bread wrapper. You see this paper again. Wanna check it? Yeah. There's a date of 1943 on that paper right there. During World War II, obviously. All right, back to the shaft, and I guess down we go. If you still, are you guys still with us? Are you with us, Julie? Yes, I am. All right, let's see if we can go down another level. That's three. 
There's a something 1934. I don't know what the rest of that is. All right, back to the shaft. Let's see what we have down here. Skinny I know that is a skinny one, isn't it? Doesn't look too scary, does it? Let's go. Okay, here comes Julie. The ladder's a little busted up. Not too bad, though. This is the bottom of the mine. Right here. That's it. No more. And it doesn't look like it ever went any further. So this looks like a short stemming rod where they would drill a hole in there and then pack in the dynamite. Yes, they would pack the hole, put, put the dynamite in and then they'd pack the rest of the hole so the charge didn't come out the hole. Possibly. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Well, it's, it it's yeah, it's rounded. It was a, it's kind of, it was a, uh, like a one by one and they've rounded off. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing that's what that was. Here's a nice bucket, galvanized bucket with a heavy duty handle on it. Ooh. Yeah. I like that. Riveted. That's cool. Pick it up, though. It's riveted. It's still got a bottom in it. Looks like a Butterfinger package in there. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah, it does. There's a bottle of something. Another vinegar bottle. I wonder what they do with the vinegar. I don't know. Del Haven. Different brands. Wow, I've never heard of that. Yeah. Has it got the shoulders on it? Like the... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Vinegar bottles almost always have like a scalloped shoulder mm -hmm. on them. For some odd reason. They still do today. Even the plastic ones. Here's a bottle. No, bottle. no, no label. No. no embossing. No. Nothing on the top. No. Okay. The beer bottle. Beer bottle. Dirty. Yeah. Looks like that oil and is there anything on the bottom? No. Okay. There's a top to a carbide can. Yeah. Union carbide, Union right? Union carbide. There's instructions for something. Explosives. How to explode yourself? Yep. Instructions and rules. Look at this. Yeah, here's a table. A metal edged table. Yeah. And it's got a metal bottom for top. Oh, maybe it's not a table, maybe it's a box. Yeah, it's an old strong box again. We always find strong boxes in the bottom of these mines. Not always, but often. Maybe for explosive stuff or caps or who knows what. Okay, careful now. That looks pretty rotten. No, it doesn't. What's over there? Anything? Well, there's right on. Well, yeah, it goes for a bit. Okay, so Julie's going to stay over there on that side of that crummy cap on the uh, timber here. So, right off the bat I see a Hercules box. Cardboard. But there's a stick of dynamite in it. Um, maybe two sticks, I guess. Yeah, it's two sticks. So I don't want to mess with that. And there's another um, carbide can top. Here's a big... It looks like a pry bar, but it's not really. It's a big hook for something. And here's a chute. This is one of those little box chutes. Look at that thing go up there. Part of a wood dynamite box. This timber is loose. Somebody's made a sign. Oh, great. There's another 
dynamite box part. Here's a ladder. Doesn't go anywhere. Wow, look at the blue. Yeah. Wow. A little stope up here. Very low one. More dynamite parts. That's Hercules' legs. Goes a little further. Here's a dynamite box. And it's just about done. Well, here's my little dynamite box workshop. I tried to patch together a complete box, but I can't find enough pieces. Anyway, I got that far. Got a Hercules box. Kind of cool. Doesn't quite fit. What are you going to do? Okay, there goes Julie back up. Say goodbye to the artifacts here. Bucket, bottles, dynamite box. Okay, that's looking down the ladder where we've just come from. Julie's on the next segment up. Here she goes. This is a pretty steep one. This one has that roller too you gotta watch out for. Okay. Just take your time, please. Looks like it's oozing minerals all the way down this edge here. Look at that. Looks like green paint, but it's not. There's a huge scaling bar here. It's got to be seven eight feet long and very heavy and wow that thing's heavy made out of a pipe with a spot in each end for prying on stuff there's a can over here Nothing on it. I gotta be careful because I'm right by the shaft. I won't fall in there. Here he comes from the bottom level. There's this huge old chunk of rope here. This size of that thing. Yeah, huge. It's gotta be an inch and a half diameter. It looks like this was another roller, but it quit rolling and it almost got cut in half.
that's going to end our mine explore for today. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next adventure. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Hey, little buddy. Well, we're leaving the mine. It's pretty fun.